everybody. Jude Valentine here, coordinator of studio and public programming. I thought today might be a perfect day for a refresher in drawing eyes, ears, noses, and mouths for pumpkin carving. I want to remind you to go to our website and register to pick up a jack-o'-lantern carving kit. The kit will have a small pumpkin and carving tools inside and uh, also some flyer, a flyer on upcoming programming. So let's get started. And uh, I'm looking to my Hieronymus Bosch catalog here from the Rhode Island School of Design, very old catalog from the 60s, to uh, provide me with some inspiration uh, of some ghoulish uh, eyes, ears, noses, and mouths of pumpkins. But you can also go when online and, and check out, you know, maybe some other artists that have ghoulish looking uh, images that you might want to be inspired by. So anyway, let's get started. So we have, uh, we have eyes are our major feature of our pumpkin. And keep in mind that everything that you draw that's going to be black is going to be carved away on your pumpkin. And so eyes that are mean looking are often, often have eyebrows that are kind of pointy. So here's some mean looking eyes. Also, the pupils can be a little narrow. So you want to keep in mind that everything that's black is going to be carved away. So you might want to make your make your your lines thicker. And you can bring your eyebrows right down to your eyes. And you can also carve out, make your eyes like really mean. And make them tiny. That, that's helpful. Everything that's black, again, is gonna be carved away. All right, so then that's one set of eyes kind of mean looking. You can also put like other lines up here on the pumpkin forehead that might look kind of mm, furrowed browish kind of lines. And then you can come right down here to the nose. And you can hook that all up. To your eyes so everything's kind of and then we come down to the mouth and we can make kind of a grinchy looking mouth with pointy teeth so I want to encourage you to draw this on paper first so you have an idea in your head of what you might like to draw on your pumpkin got to leave some white space. Don't forget about the white space. And keep it really simple. You know, it doesn't have to be elaborate. And I've got a big wide Sharpie, but you can also draw with a narrower one, too. It's just that when you're carving with your carving tool, you're going to be sawing things away. So it's best to work really large. And you can make things larger. Does that look ghoulish enough? We can put some more teeth in here. And, you know, when you're carving, it's going to be a little more challenging than actually drawing, right? So there's one idea. And you can stop the video at any time and, you know, to go along at your own pace. Let's try a, a happy looking pumpkin face, just for kicks. All right, so in a happy face, the eyebrows are usually kind of arched and the eyes are kind of wide. 
It might be nice to make a happy face for a for a for a uh, <laughs> for Halloween. And um, so we can just kind of fill them in a little bit. So you're still getting you're getting an expression, but it's a little different than than the kind of mean expression of the first the first pumpkin face we did, right? All right. And the nose, so keeping in mind too that all the black is going to be carved away, you can make these wider or narrower depending on what you want. But the wider they are, the easier it's going to be for them to be carved out. All right, and then coming down to the nose, we could do a triangle. Those, that's pretty easy. We could also put in little nostril holes, just for fun. And then we could make a kind of happyish, glummish. We can upturn the lips over here to make it kind of ah, filled it in. Okay. Yeah, we can always fill it in. Everything that's black is going to be carved out. All right. There's a more happyish. Well, let me see if I can move that up a little. There we go. There's a more happyish uh, pumpkin kind of face. We can even put little cheeks on it if we wanted to. Little smile lines. Now your pumpkin doesn't have to be a face. That's just traditional. So you could turn it into anything, really, that you wanted to. So, uh, you know, maybe you just want to do, like, stars, the sun, or the moon. You might want to do uh, just some designs on it, too. It's totally up to you. And you can also, you know get an idea for how this might look if you fill in all the parts that are going to be cut out uh, on your pumpkin and then actually cut them out with a pair of scissors and uh, put them on your pumpkin so that you get a sense of where things are. So that's a brief tutorial. I'm sure you guys can come up with much better ideas. And um, we'll be back next time with some more fun stuff to try with uh, the Farnsworth Museum Education Department. So have a great Halloween. Don't forget to sign up for those pumpkin bags. We've got a lot of them to give out to you. So um, make sure you take advantage of that. And happy Fall Family Festival. Happy Halloween. And we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.